Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. So it's 2021. Wish you a happy new year. Um, the new year starts, but we, we shouldn't stop learning new things, right? Uh, in the previous video, I've covered the first half of this uh, writing our own utility types. Uh, this is the second part. Okay, let's just start from parameters. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Okay, parameters as uh, it says, it's just to return the parma parameters of this function, right? So let's write it. Uh, for this kind of, uh, this obviously should be some infer infer types, as we said before. When you want to infer some types, we write uh, uh, the uh, template for this for this type and just uh, match the type against this template. And just like regular expressions, we could use the uh, parenthesis, right? Uh, the placeholders to extract the information from this template. We, we could call, like we write something like, uh, um, like this, right? And this is the regular string. And we could actually replace with with dollar sign, right? Dollar one and dollar two, and we can actually res extract the parts from this template. So we're ready for types, which is the same. Let's first define the type for uh, this function. We need to extract the arguments, right? So um, there might be multiple arguments. So args and and we need to, uh, so, okay, this first we put any. So this is the general type. This is alpha function. We need to infer the args here. So we infer r, right? Yeah, so this is the template. And then we add the string, uh, we, we match this against the type. So we should be, uh, let's say, type my parameters except t. So t should be uh, matched against this template. And we need to we don't want to infer the args type of this arg, so infer r. So this is a template, and we match it, and this is actually the daughter one, right? So if it matches, we return daughter one. Okay, I'm sorry, it should be r. If not match, so this should be uh, never. Hmm, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you should never. It is not a function. So this is it. T extends. Let's see the difference between the or official one extends args and t extends r in for p any p never um, the official one actually has this uh, has this restraint uh huh so this actually is for the case like this parameters if it is not function it should be throw a never uh huh. If we not, actually, this is one not throw errors, right? Yeah, I see. So we add this. We could just add the uh, restraint narrated to a function. Cool. I think it should be function. It would be great. It'd be mm -hmm. from this function. Mm -hmm. Function would be enough, right? Uh, parameters. Mm -hmm. Function does not has these constrained args. Uh, I see. Okay, this is it. My parameters will be the same. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Construct parameters. I think it should be something similar. Constructor parameters. Okay, get the. Uh, this is constructor, so get the constructor parameters, which is the same. I think. Um, let's say type my constructor. My constructor t uh -huh. t must be uh, some function. We'll add the uh, restraint later. Okay, so we should t should be extend for a uh, constructor function. It should be there should be a signature called new and uh, any args. We infer these args and the return could be return any if it extends. And then we return R if not, never, right? Hmm. 
there's something wrong here. Ah, I'm sorry for interface. You should be like this. Okay, and we can add the uh, restraint here. No R any. So here it says string or undefined. If we replace it, string undefined is the same. Yeah, I think we're doing great. Let's see the original implementation. It says it extends. It's not. It's it does not use the interface. Use something like this. Okay. So oh, I sh think. Okay. So actually, we could uh, remove these uh, braces and just to use the arrow function format. Uh -huh. This is more much more concise. Mm, yeah, looking good. Uh huh. But actually, this is the same. Actually, we remove it. Mm, pretty cool. Okay, next one. Return types. We've already extract the uh, extract the yeah, parameters. We should be. We should be. We could do the same for the return types, right? So type my return type. Uh, it's against the uh, extends some args. It could be anything. Yeah, return anything, and that we will create a template to test against this T with uh, the same this one. What one get? We won't get this any right. So infer r and r never so this is the uh regular, ex regular expression this is the group let's see if we're having the same extend uh uh uh, -uh things need for r yeah mm -hmm. it says any we get never mm -hmm. so what's the problem here Should we, if it matches, we should get the R. If it is just not match, he said to return any. Why? Should any obtain the return type? This is something I'm not sure. This is return zero string. Okay, let's try to check against the uh, examples obviously we get the string and a string no problem here we get the void should still not be a problem and one no return t return unknown this is unknown uh-huh and this one let's see it says number number mm -hmm. why why would we return any even if it is uh, something like this then you should must be able to be inferred this number string number string one unknown any so here's the problem it says return type of any should return any my return any it says unknown hmm this is a mysterious return type let's see the definition of return type construct a type consisting the return type of the function Type.
I don't know. Okay, I must say that. Uh, ah! Or I should use unknown. Uh, I don't know here. Sorry, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it should be any here. Maybe this is for definition. It should be any. But any, actually, it's not type safe, right? We should use unknown or something. Hmm. Anyway, I'm stuck here. If you know, please tell me. Okay, next one instance type of type. So instance of type C, this class, so it should, what should be, it should be C. Mm -hmm. So the return instance type, right? The public part. Okay, my instance type. We actually get the constructor parameters. Uh -huh. We get, we, we do the same uh, as we're, we're doing in a return type. Okay, so uh, it should be test against T. It should be, it should be an, a constructor function. So, or any. And T should be tested against uh, this template. And we want to infer the return value. So infer R and R. And the instance type, we don't know. So it should be any here. Let's see the instance type here. Yeah, any. Hmm. Why any? The any. Any, any. Oh, if I say never, it got me any. Huh. Never, never. Any, never. Oh, here. Never. Never. Any. Any. If I just never here, this returns me unknown. Huh. Uh, what's the difference between any and unknown? Unknown means that it's not type safe, right? And when I when I'm going to uh, when I'm going to extract the data should be a union so any any is right and when i assign this data to something uh mm, i don't know mm, should i just never here so any my instance type any and it turns any huh. yeah any Come on. Why any? Be some known. Never. I uh, says never. I must say that instance type it says when any is passed, then this should be relayed as any. <laughs> because it means. Any constructor sh function is fine. Uh huh. Then should you return any? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for the parameter stuff, we use never, right? Yeah. Why? When I say parameters any, get unknown. Um, I see. This may be because the, uh, what we talk about is the invariant, covariant, and contra, contra variant stuff. If it's parameter, it's a contra variant, variant, right? When I guess it, any, uh, it could be used. It it should be. Uh, uh it it 
it will not be at the same direction for the type. So here is any, but here is unknown. But for the other positions, like uh, the return value or the properties, they are covariant. So when I say it's any, then it should be any. Uh-huh. Mm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it may be that it might be because of that. Mm. Anyway, that's that's just to rem remember why. Uh, remember this. Okay, next one. Required requires type consisting of T to set to the opposite of partial. This is optional, but when I say required, it becomes to uh, the remove the question mark. This one actually I didn't know because there's actually a simple a special uh, special uh, symbol. This might miss uh, subtract. So it means for each of the key, we remove the question mark. So this the minus sign. Remember, uh, I didn't know this. So something special. Next one, this parameters. Mm -hmm. This parameter, uh, this parameters type of hacks. Ah, this is simple. I remember for function, we could use the first one. If you use that this, it will be the type for this. Okay, so type my this parameter type uh, t. And t should be tested against uh, this. We should infer it, right? So infer r and r any returns any. If it matches, then we return r. If not, uh, because this is the because for each function it must have this. This is not arguments. Remember. This is not arguments. This, every function m must have this. So it should be any. And uh, I'm still confused to why it should not be unknown. unknown. Hmm. Ah, because we can't, in the here, we cannot infer it. Why is, mm. okay, anyway, um, here, we add some extra, uh, restraint, so this any, uh, t extends, uh, t extends, uh -huh. oh, extends, so should, this is the same, Okay, t extends this infer. Oh, there's no restraint. Maybe we could use restraint. Uh -huh. Extends this infer u. Uh, unknown. And here you said unknown. Ha. Huh. I'm totally, I'm totally confused why sometimes unknown, sometimes any. If I get this through, I will play, create another video to explain this. If you know, please help me. Um, I'm so afraid that when this is used, this type is um, might be one of them. So it's unknown. We need to do the type check, but for the uh, um, this parameter here, unknown. 
Okay. Required instance type? It's any. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so the basic uh, format for this my uh, this template is the same. Okay, let's skip the one. Let's skip. Go to omit this parameter. So this is the original one. We have this type, and we need to remove it. Wow, this is interesting. Um, type my omit this parameter. Okay, against this t. Let's write the uh, template. Uh, we're not going to ex uh, for this function. If it has this, if it has this, we remove it. If it not, if n if there's no this, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, this is confused. Um, I don't know how to write it. If Extract. Okay, let's try try to write it. This um, this any arcs any any. If there is this arcs, and we could we just uh, return. Okay, infer r this one infer t. We return args r t. If not, right? If not, then this function doesn't have this type for this. We should just return t. So this is it. I'm not sure if I use it. Hmm, looks good. If there's no this. What should, what did we just do? Uh, okay, this one. Um, okay, this just to return this. Oh, okay. Mm, looks good, um, but these right. The implementation here means t. Oh, this is my omit. If the original one, if unknown, this parameter. If this is unknown, mm -hmm, we return a t. If and then if t this, and then we just do extract the r and t. Mm, maybe they are the same. I'm not sure. Huh. According to the hour type. Okay, let's just to try to add a new parameter like a string here. Let's see if it is okay. Now it says a string to to string. If we have this number, still string string. Hmm, looks good. So there might be not only only one way, right? There might be multiple way, multiple uh, approaches. Okay, next one. This type. This is not a UDG, This is not some uh, transformation type. It's just a built-in uh, marker to mark this. It's a little complicated. Um, let's take a look. So if we if we remove it, okay, this isn't a function. This is an object. Uh, this is the call of this function. The function accepts uh, a descriptor. This de descriptor includes a data and method, which is data and the method DNM. So uh, we call it, and it, what we return is, is that it will uh, spread the data and the method together. So it will be this, including this, right? So it returns D and M. If we don't have this type, this type, uh, we define the method here. This you see is any. It's any. It's not very safe, right? It doesn't know the type for when this function is called. 
So when I when it is said with this type and this type, which means that this for this method, which is the object, this will be D and M. So when it's called this again, this mm, which I think we should reload reload it. Okay, now this mm, still any. Should we turn remove it? Uh, mm -hmm. uh I don't have no implicit any. Uh huh. Ah, oh, here? No. That's something weird. Mm hmm. This is any. Ha. Huh. Config. Mm hmm. Weird. Uh, hmm. It's just now to have this. Maybe some problems with this uh, editor. You see that now this will be uh, this one DNM. Okay, so it has this X, right? If I remove this, you see that this becomes any, which is not safe. Okay. So this is this type, and the other one is uh, template literal types. We'll cover it in the next video. Okay, I hope it helps. Um, see you next time. It takes more than I thought. It takes about thirty minutes. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye.